What causes foot cramps in pregnancy? These things, especially later on towards the second and third trimester, can start getting pretty crazy. They could interrupt your night cycle and they can even start happening during the day. So foot cramp is an uncontrollable spasm of your muscles that twitches and closes. You can get them in your legs or in your feet and they're more common at night but can happen during the day. Well, this is essentially an imbalance of the nerves in your body. Essentially, a nerve normally sends a signal to the muscles. When your brain tells the muscle to fire, this is transmitted through the nerve. But if there's an electrical imbalance for some reason, this nerve can fire at inopportune times, or that is to say when the brain's not telling it to, and contract muscles, and you can't lo loosen them. So. What makes this electrical imbalance? Well, you've probably heard of electrolytes if you've seen any Gatorade commercials. So that's sodium, chloride, magnesium, calcium, potassium. And what happens is if these are, if you're dehydrated, you don't have enough of them, you haven't been drinking enough fluids, then this could affect the electrical charge around your nerves and within your nerves. So... I'm not saying to drink lots of Gatorade, but maybe something to talk to your doctor about who's seeing you because as you're pregnant, you're, you have more fluids, uh, you're supplying fluids for a baby as well, you're getting a little bit heavier, your hydration and electrolyte balance might be off. So these might be causing your feet to twitch. And drink lots of water, st stay well hydrated. And changes in pregnancy are the main thing. As you gain weight, you're putting more pressure on your feet. So your feet are more sore. Uh, the muscles are more irritated. And as the muscles are more irritated, inflammatory cells can get in there. And these make the nerve thresholds decrease and make the muscle more susceptible to twitching. And the main reason is, as your uterus grows, the veins returning from your legs to your heart can become compressed with the baby, especially when you lie back at night. And this causes fluid to not come back from your feet as well as before you were not pregnant. So think of this as blood coming from your heart, getting to your feet, but then it gets into a traffic jam and can't make it back to the heart because the baby's compressing it, plus the extra weight. Another thing is cold feet. Put some socks on, keep your feet warm. The colder it is, the more twitchy your nerves can get and the more susceptible your feet can get to cramps. And like I mentioned before, if you're still working, you're getting heavier, your feet are bearing a lot more stress than they used to be. And as the muscles get more irritated, especially if you're working like a 12 hour shift, this makes them more swollen, uh, throws off the hydration and the electrolytes even more and makes the threshold decreases the threshold for the nerve function so here's things you can do stretch your calves out stretch your feet out things like that will decrease the tension in your muscle it'll relax them a little bit take warm baths warmth helps blood flow faster move around as you move your leg muscles this pumps the blood flow it brings the it brings the blood back to your heart through your veins Massage your feet that that gets the blood flow going, especially if you're having the cramp. Do the stretching, do the massaging to make it go away. Anti-inflammatories, I'm not going to tell you to take them. Check with your physician though, but not, probably not if you're pregnant. But drink lots of water. And of course, you're not drinking beer anyway, but if there's anything you're doing, a little bit of coffee, something like that, maybe something to avoid just hydrate with water with electrolytes and there's other things i know you're not smoking during pregnancy but this might have led to peripheral arterial disease or if you had diabetes before but if you're seeing your doctor for your baby these are things that should be well checked out anyway but if you're not pregnant these can be sources of cramps as well in feet but if you're pregnant, this isn't you, most likely. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.